One. Happy New Year! The 90s. The uh, Ford Bronco carrying O.J. Simpson heads northbound. A decade of triumph. Mr. Mandela has walked his first steps to freedom. And tragedy. And as word spreads of Princess Diana's death, there are tears and an overwhelming outpouring of grief. Of innovation. It's a whole new world right at our fingertips. The internet. And scandal. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. But perhaps the biggest crime was the fashion. My style in the 90s was absolutely horrendous. The spiky hair, the baggy jeans. I remember when I used to wear my pants backwards because of crisscross. But whatever your thoughts on that decade's duds, there's no doubt that it's left an indelible mark on fashion history, resulting in a collectibles market that is capitalizing on 90s nostalgia. Meet Slobby Robbie, star of Netflix series Slobby's World, and the man who's gonna teach me how to turn 90s garb into gold. Yeah! Whoa! What's up, cowboy? The 90s vintage god. Yes. In the flesh and blood. This is it. I'm real. Look I'm real. Guy, Believe man. It. What is it about the 90s, man, that gets you so jazzed up? Oh, I think, you know, individuality, loud colors, you know, the puffy pants, the crazy haircut, really not being afraid to be yourself. And I really have always embraced that. Generation Cool is essentially a window to the inside psyche of Slobby Robbie. Literally a window. Come on in. Woo! Nostalgia for sale. Check it out, man. This is a little man by the name of MC Hammer. We got a bunch of nasty colors that have no business being on top of pink. A very, very 90s, what you would call rap tee. Yeah. You know? And rap tees are big business now. We talk about loud. Yeah, I'm the only one who can pull those off on the whole planet. <laughs> This is the Air Max 98, beautiful piece of art. A shoe like this could be worth up to 200, 250 bucks. But you know, I can tell you I got it for $10. The 90s sure is a profitable business. And when it comes to being a vintage dealer, image is everything. All right, Johnny, let's see what you got. Stop. Yeah. You got the vintage look, and now yeah. it's time to learn the vintage game. Lesson one is vintage versus retro. Retro is a remake of something older. Just because it's retro doesn't mean it's vintage. What we've got here is some Air Jordans. One of these is retro, one of them is vintage. Which one would you buy and which one would you pass on? The craftsmanship is a little more original. I would say that this one would be a vintage and this would be a retro. So you're exactly right. Um, you can kind of see where they struggled with, with sewing the patent leather. Whereas here, that is a nice clean stitch Perfect. on the patent leather. Oh, here we have a St. Louis Cardinals jersey and a St. Louis Cardinals shirt. This would be the vintage, this would be the retro. And it's these little imperfections that make it more desirable. You got it, kid. And 10 times out of 10, if it has a screen printed size tag, it's not vintage. So. And once you know I want this or I don't want that, you gotta figure out how much am I gonna pay for it? How much am I gonna sell it for? Got it. Customer walks in with this. Kellogg's Corn Flakes, special windbreaker. I'm not gonna go, ooh! Yeah. Oh my God, we're gonna get $80 for this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, mm. Kind of throw that to the side, I don't want that, but he doesn't know that yet. We call that playing it cool. All right, so Johnny, play it cool right now for me. I'm bringing that to you, you know, play it cool. Uh. All right, well, we don't wanna piss off the customers. Okay. We wanna be poker face, not jerk face. You know what I'm saying? Poker face, not jerk face. Got okay. it. Deal. Flea markets are a haven for vintage goods. If you know what you're looking for, that is. So armed with my newfound knowledge, Slobby and I head to Tanque Verde Swap Meet to see if we can score some 90s gems. We're looking for some, some dusty memories, all right? Some hidden treasures. How about this guy? That's pretty colorful, man. Santana, The musician bro. Santana? This is a $100 T-Buck. Really? Hold on, check it out. What kind of stitch? Single stitch. There you go. That's sick. So we were thinking on these two, uh, five bucks each. All right, 18 bucks, you got it. Dude, I almost feel like we should get arrested for robbery. We wait till we walk far away before we talk about this. This is Bulls. Oh, nice. Buddy, 
I think we might have struck some gold here. This is a triple whammy, bro. I got you. What are you yeah. asking for these two? I was thinking, do 15 on this one and 10 on that one. So essentially, we'll meet you in the middle. Sounds good. All right. I don't even think we're collectors anymore. We're pirates, because we're straight pillaging booty. Ooh. Oh. Hermes. Howdy. How about we do 15 on this guy and eight? 23, Michael Jordan. You got yourself a deal, young lady. Hey. Right now, as it stands, I'm gonna go ahead and grant you the title of 90s connoisseur. We at least quadruple. So we not only met our goal, but we exceeded it. And you're you're cool enough to hang out with me now. We can get down. My man, let's go. I gotta go change before I get beat up wearing this.